Let's look at a similar problem. This is a question about subtracting mixed numbers, so let's solve it together. Core concept, subtracting mixed numbers with like denominators. Helpful steps and things to remember. First, subtract the fractions first, then the whole numbers. Second, simplify the resulting fraction if needed. What are mixed numbers? A mixed number has two parts. First, a whole number part. Second, a fraction part. For example, in 5 and 3 fourths, 5 is the whole number, and 3 fourths is the fraction. Let's subtract the fractions first. Both fractions have the same denominator, 4. We only need to subtract the numerators, 3 minus 1 equals 2. So, the fraction part of our answer is 2 fourths. Now let's subtract the whole numbers. 5 minus 2 equals 3. When we combine this with our fraction, we get 3 and 2 fourths. Let's simplify our fraction. Look at 2 fourths. Both 2 and 4 can be divided by 2. 2 divided by 2 equals 1, and 4 divided by 2 equals 2. So, 3 and 2 fourths simplifies to 3 and 1 half. Find the answer. Let's review our steps. First, we subtracted the fractions. 3 fourths minus 1 fourth equals 2 fourths. Then, we subtracted the whole numbers. 5 minus 2 equals 3. Finally, we simplified 2 fourths to 1 half. Therefore, the answer is 3 and 1 half. Today we learned. Mixed numbers consist of a whole number and a fraction part. When subtracting mixed numbers with like denominators, subtract fractions first, then whole numbers. Always simplify fractions in your final answer when possible. Keep the denominator the same when subtracting fractions. Remember, when working with mixed numbers, always handle the fractions and whole numbers separately, then combine them for your final answer. Great job! You have finished this part.